In a career that spanned two decades, Fabio Cannavaro is something of an anomaly when it comes to casually throwing out terms such as greatest of all time, the greatest defender to win a World Cup, etc. However, the truth of the matter is that Fabio Cannavaro is a true anomaly given the fact that he's considered one of the greatest defenders of all time despite not being the most imposing center back around. At 5 feet, 9 inches, you would be forgiven to take him for a diminutive player or a winger if you hadn't seen him play before. The Italian international ended up winning a World Cup and won the Ballon d'Or as well, something that most defenders can only dream of. I actually remember the time when Cannavaro was given the award, and there was a lot of talk about why he didn't deserve the award. His nomination initiated passionate debates around Europe, and a few of the arguments actually made some sense. Many believed the award was due to Italy's unlikely triumph at the World Cup in 2006, especially at a time when the country was trying to come out stronger from the Calcia Poli scandal. On the other side of the spectrum, Cannavaro had an average club career, never won the Serie A, with two titles that he won with Juventus taken away due to the Calcia Poli scandal. Just like Ronaldo in 2002, Cannavaro was successful at a World Cup, and him winning the Ballion d'Or was largely due to his efforts throughout the tournament. Many felt that it was Paolo Maldini and Gigi Buffon who deserved the award. 